It's 6 a.m. Some of you guys may be asking, Kiara, why are you up this early? You're a night shift nurse. The answer is, this week, I'm a day shift nurse. I feel like this is very confusing because I've posted some work weeks in my life that are day shift and then some that are night shift. I am officially on night shift. I've been hired onto night shift, but because I am at the very end of my orientation and they literally ran out of preceptors, I had to switch to day shift for just this week alone, which is honestly a really interesting experience. I'm kind of excited to see it with this new perspective perspective to be able to compare and contrast like day shift versus night shift I'll have a really good picture of what it's like and that's why I'm gonna bring you guys along today and kind of talk to you guys about some of the pros and cons of day shift versus night shift and what I like and don't like about each position because they're very different obviously flipping between the two can be a little bit difficult because I definitely do not wake up super early anymore like at baseline I would say the earliest I would wake up is like 7 a.m. so Flipping back and forth is more difficult, especially because it's hard for me to go to bed early. So like last night, I didn't go to bed until like 11, 15, 11.30, which was honestly pretty good. I had to put in a lot of work to make sure I go to bed that early. Some interesting things that I've been experiencing just like in general as a nurse and my sleep schedule is with the flipping, particularly on night shift, you don't always get like a wonderful night's sleep. And there's like many, many, many nights, almost every night probably, where I feel like I'm just closing my eyes pretending I'm asleep like I'm still thinking about things consciously but I'm kind of like in this state of rest I can still wake up generally refreshed even though it's not like my most ideal perfect night sleep that I used to have it's funny because if you guys watched me through nursing school you will have maybe seen some videos where I talked about how I've had really, really bad anxiety in regards to my sleep. Like if I didn't have enough sleep, I wouldn't feel prepared enough for the day and it would stress me out and make me feel like something bad was gonna happen. I would say I have a much healthier relationship with my sleep. I'm just kind of in the state of acceptance that I take what I can get. I try to listen to my body and when I need a nap in the middle of the day, if there's an opportunity to do that, then I'll take a nap. I definitely just try my best to like fall back asleep if I have to wake up and go to the bathroom, which like like used to never happen. The sleep is complicated and you kind of have to come to this point of like what works for you. So what works for me is to just stay in bed and try to make myself as comfortable as possible with my soft blankets and my air conditioning and my sound machine and my eye mask. Just trying to have aspects of healthy sleep even though your body's like natural circadian rhythm may be a little off because it is hard to switch from day to nights. I was very lucky this week. My flip was going to have to be to work four nights in a row get off that morning and then literally sleep for a couple hours and then try to be awake for a couple hours and then fall asleep and wake up and go to day shift, which was gonna be extremely difficult. And we ended up like ironing out some things in my schedule. So I actually, today is Wednesday and I actually got off Monday morning. I was able to sleep for four hours and then I had like the rest of my day Monday. I was able to get to bed by midnight. I was able to have like a normal Tuesday yesterday and go to bed by 11.30, which is pretty good. At my hospital, you don't have to pay for parking on nights. It's so I just park in the same parking structure that's really close to where the children's hospital is. On days, you have to pay and like pre-plan. I had to pay more money to park. Parking structure is even farther away. It's 6.05, so now we really have to get ready. I already have breakfast. Definitely limited things that I want to eat for breakfast at 5.30 in the morning where getting ready for night shift, I can literally eat whatever. I could go breakfast mode if I just woke up. I could go lunch mode, I could go dinner mode. In the mornings at 5.30, I only want to eat breakfast. <laughs> at least I made myself some overnight oats. Let's get ready for the day. Terrible things started happening when you walked away. So that's why I stay right here. Cause when all of my dreams 
seems so out of reach, your crystal clear. We are officially almost ready. I just need to fill up my water bottle and finish packing my lunch. For my lunch today, I'm very excited because this video is actually sponsored by Factor. I have wanted to work with them ever since I was in nursing school because I did my senior capstone on a floor where every single nurse, they all had their lunches from Factor. If you guys don't know what Factor is, they deliver fresh dietitian approved meals to your doorstep so you have something to eat. You guys know that I love working with HelloFresh and Factor is actually owned by HelloFresh. I love flip flopping between the two of them because sometimes I like to cook a whole entire feast and sometimes like on weeks like this where I'm very stressed out and flipping from days to nights and I have literally no time to go to the grocery store, they're just like right here ready to go. So I'm gonna pick one of my meals today. I got six different meals but you can pick a plan that works for you and range anywhere from four to 18 meals. I also love these because if you're not gonna finish a meal, you can just pop them in the freezer, which is really great. We have Indian butter chicken, jalapeno lime cheddar chicken, turkey chili and zucchini, creamy Parmesan chicken, chipotle, rubbed pork chop, and pimento cheese chicken breast. I'm gonna choose the one on the top that has been calling my name ever since I put it in the fridge last night, and that's Indian butter chicken because I love Indian flavors. And I'm gonna grab some apples. And then we're set. I'm really excited to have my factor meals also on night shift because I feel like on nights especially, you really get sick of the salad life. And I do love my good salads, but there is nothing like a solid meal when you are working 12 and a half hours. And they have over 34 meals for you to choose from every single week. So it's so easy to find something that you like. If you guys wanna try Factor for yourself, you can go to factor75.com and use my code Kiara50 for 50% off your very first box. It is 626, so we are gonna head out the door. We're putting the badge on. I don't actually need my light because it's gonna be daylight. I can see in my room when I'm drawing labs. I'm gonna leave a little bit early today because I hate parking in this parking structure and walking and everything. We're gonna be on time and I'm gonna bring you guys along and I'll show you little clips of my day and I'll catch up with you guys on my breaks. I love you guys. I might have to order the Starbucks sooner than I think. I was gonna make my own coffee, but my coffee machine literally keeps breaking. Very annoying, and so I might as well just treat myself. I'm flipping to days. This is the problem with the night shift, is you build this night shift mentality that you should treat yourself because you make night shift differential, and so you're like, oh, it's really just part of my differential to treat myself and get this coffee. Let's go to work. Oh my God, it is literally so warm outside. It has been like 100 degrees in Portland and it's probably like 75 degrees at six. It's time for pump up music. Pump up music alone. All right, let's do this. It's all an elaborate scheme to make some money for the team. As she can slip away in the cycle of four seasons Spiral out of orbit, a skeleton not breathing. How many goddamn times do I have to dig you out your grave? It's 7.45. Karma macchiato time. <laughs> Snack time. Apple and peanut butter. A little bar was up. So far, good man. It's actually going by three times. I have two patients. Go for it. And I've had them both before, so that's my win. And don't you cry no more. This is everything you wanted, Hollywood. It does you. It's almost four o'clock. We're gonna do vitals. We're gonna write our notes. It's going well. We did it. I'm officially done for the day. It's such a good day. I gave IBIG for the first time. I got to be like both of my preceptor moms, who I love so much. They were like both on today, even though I just kind of chilled out and I did all my stuff. It was a win. And I'm still deliciously full for my factor meal. It was so good. Now I'm gonna go get ice cream with my friends, which is my favorite part about day shifts, is that you can actually do stuff after your shift, because on nights, I literally just go to bed. We're gonna go enjoy having a balanced schedule. It is currently almost eight o'clock, and I am running out the door to try to get a salt straw to hang out with my friends. First, we're gonna start some laundry, because I am completely out of compression socks. I've had a crazy work schedule, and I have not had time to do laundry. This is yet another reason why I love day shift, is because you actually get to do stuff after your shift for like on nights I do stuff before my shift and that's usually when normal people want to hang out which is one of the wonderful benefits today was overall a really good day like I said 
head. I had great patience. I had great preceptors. I loved just feeling like more awake on day shift. Like you can just move a lot faster and your mind can process things quickly and you don't hit that like 4 a.m. point where you just have to rally. Like yes, you get tired and it's still a really long day, but I just feel like I have more energy <laughs> because I'm not obviously having to stay up all night. You know, there's stuff about night shifts that's also nice too. Like the bonding with your coworkers. I feel particularly close to day shift because I oriented on day shift for a lot longer than night shift. Like I was on day shift for five months. So for me, even though I feel like it's been really special to bond with a lot of the people on night shift and we've gotten close pretty quickly, I would say like on day shift, I still have the same bond. It just like took longer to get there because you know, I was the newbie. I really do enjoy working on both shifts because you do have this appreciation for both parties. You know, when someone doesn't have time to do something on nights and day shift complains about it, I'm like rolling my eyes because there's a lot of challenges at night that day shift doesn't have to solve. But then day shift is dealing with a lot of coordination, a lot of moving pieces, a lot of advanced things in the care plan. Kids are oftentimes like receiving the most high risk meds like IVIG. A wonderful learning experience and overall, I'm really happy that I've been able to see both. I'm probably gonna film a little tomorrow because I feel like this is, I don't, I never get to film that much on days that I work. So it's kind of fun to be able to film a couple days in a row and like see how the days compare. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go eat some solid straw and then of course get ready for bed because I will be tired eventually. <laughs> Everyone's complaining it's too hot. Well, it's perfect to me. The vlog, long time no see. Yeah. I think I'm gonna, gonna chop my hair off. It's really long. Cute, I'm thinking honestly. like- But I do think a chop would look good on you, a fall Real chop. short, like shorter than yours, Maddie. I don't want shorter it to touch nice? my shoulders. Right. I think I'm gonna do it for the fall. Chop it, chop it like it's hot. Well, with Kaylee, I have to book an appointment. I just got something for September. We're by the lake, we're gonna get some snacks. Are you vlogging the heat wave? Like, this is how heat I survived the heat wave. Guys, it's not even bad. It's not that bad. It's like being Italy hugged in a warm blanket. So we have hopefully three minutes till I'm about to walk out the store. I thought of another thing, another comparison of day shift to night shift that I find really interesting. On day shift, as the days go on and you work consecutive days in a row, you get more and more tired. Where on nights, as you work consecutive days in a row, you become more and more awake. Just kind of interesting, I think, because on nights you start to acclimate to more of a normal person's schedule. Like you just slept hopefully eight hours-ish and then you go and work your stretch. But the first night is really hard because you're not sleeping directly before like maybe I get a two hour nap in and I try to like sleep in during the morning time but you're just kind of like hoping that you stay up all night pushing your body to feel myself getting more and more tired I actually hang out with friends and try to do activities at the beginning of my stretch when I was on days when I'm on nights at the end of my stretch I can do more and I'm excited about it on my final day I sleep four hours when I try to flip back to a normal schedule I wake up and I immediately go do something where sometimes when I get home after my third day in a row I literally just sit on the couch and I cannot move. I slept okay last night. I probably could have gotten some more sleep, but in the daytime, sometimes it's easier to rally when you don't sleep as well. Like when I was coaching and working days, I honestly was getting probably six hours of sleep and that was normal for me. I'm more focused on protecting my sleep where on days I feel like I can rally no matter what. But that's just me. We're gonna have a good day. I do like working the second day in a row because you kind of know for the most part which patients you're gonna get. So it makes it easier like going into the hospital I kind of already know unless something dramatic happened last night what each of my patients are doing tomorrow will be a little different story because I'm gonna have a different preceptor tomorrow so I'll get like a whole new set of patients because they try to have continuity of care which I really appreciate I feel like my floor does a really good job of that and it definitely makes it a lot easier it's 6 30 on the dot so that means it's time to go to work let's go I hate this feeling I have where I feel like I'm forgetting something. I think I need to make like a to-do list on my whiteboard. So when I actually exit my apartment, I have my water bottle, my badge, my lunch, my coffee. Because I will say on nights, it is quite frequent that I forget my coffee or my lunch and I've had to circle back before. Is 
officially snack time at this peanut butter kombucha round two. So far, so good. Two patients, probably gonna get an admin. I got my delicious factory meal. Today is the turkey chili with zucchini and a lime crema sauce. Mm. It hits. We did it, you guys. I've had a wild end to my shift. This is just shows that nursing, it's so unpredictable. Like, I was having a really chill day and then I got my third patient and it was just so busy. I literally had to do all my 4 p.m. charting and my note writing at like 6.50 p.m. to be ready by seven. And I got it done. I'm exhausted. I am going to go home and eat and shower and go to bed. you were looking how to fly? What a wild day. I low-key am gonna like pee my pants because I have not peed in hours. I have been so busy running around. We did it, we survived. I only have one more shift tomorrow and I might have some different patients, but just interesting navigating all these problems. On days you're giving a lot of higher risk meds or navigating some like really complex issues when you're admitting a kid and you're starting from square one. They come here to you with this and then you have to prepare them to get here. A lot of people don't understand in nursing all of the brain power that goes behind it because they're like, like, oh, you just give meds. It's like easy and you just push it in through their tubing. Things will precipitate if they're not compatible. So you have to be very careful. There's all these policies and rules that you have to follow. So you're keeping all of this in mind to keep the patient safe, but then you're also being realistic. You have to be able to understand and navigate where to push and where to pull to be able to make things happen. It felt busy, but it feels good to be like, oh, I did that. But definitely a lot wilder of a shift than I've had lately, but it all worked out and I clocked out on time. That being said, I'm gonna end this 48 hours in my life as a day shift nurse. I hope it was interesting for you guys to get some like comparison on day shift versus night shift. And I feel like I love aspects of both. So they're just both very different. And I definitely agree with the sentiment of like, it's nice to be a night shift nurse as a new grad to have a little bit slower pace sometimes and time to navigate things. But then that being said, like you have a lot less resources to pull on. So you have to figure out how to problem solve. It's a hard job, but it's a wonderful job. And it's so rewarding. And at the end of the day, we get to help heal kids. I'm definitely very happy that I decided to become a nurse. Today's question of the day is going to be how do you keep yourself calm in stressful situations comment down below i feel like i give myself like a little break by just having a little sip of water taking a breath and then just trying to stay focused and zone in on like what i need to do especially like at a busy place like the nurse's station where there's a lot of chatting going on i just like zone in to my tasks knowing and accepting to give yourself grace that some of this experience you don't have yet and it'll come in time so you're just doing your best give this video a thumbs up if you guys want more nursing content i'm happy to be sharing this journey with you guys i think it's so interesting i feel like even through nursing school I didn't have a great picture of what it was like day to day to be a nurse so I hope this was helpful again huge shout out to factor for sponsoring this video it's so great to work with you and have incredible meals after these really busy shifts and during them it's just so comforting to be able to take a break and have a lunch that you look forward to and I genuinely am so impressed with their dishes you guys can use my code right here to get 50% off your first order from factor I love you guys so much I'll talk to you guys next week bye Hey.